Hi, everybody. I'm James Sabolski for EA Sports. This should be a fun one. EA SHL club action set to go down. All right, what is up, everybody? Bang. So, I'm officially done with the butterfly. I've seen what I needed to see. I apologize uh, for switching my build so much, I guess. But you guys need to understand, I'm not, I'm not using, I'm not playing. A lot of the times, I'm not playing to win. I'm playing to test, and when I test things, I lose. And when I don't, and then when I know that something isn't working, I switch. So it's not my fault. <laughs> you don't see anybody else doing this. Somebody has to do it. The butterfly build is good if you play a certain way. And that certain way is not the way I play bars. The stand-up is perfect for me. And I know that now. The problem with the butterfly is you get sniped on the post so much you need to overcover the post so hard it makes it harder for cross creases i don't play like that you know I, I would rather just have my leg like this not like this you know i want my leg like this so i like to stand up more because he doesn't get sniped as much he does not i think i figured something else out i love rebound control more than vision I actually lowered my vision to get my rebound control on a stand-up. And it's not for rebounds. I have a feeling that it's for... I, I think... I'm pretty sure rebound control helps with tips. Because I save... I'm not just talking... Like, okay, let me say it this way. I saved two tips last game. And you might be thinking, okay, whatever, what's, what the point? But the thing is, I didn't just save them. My goalie actually changed his animation, mid-animation, twice, to save the tip. I've still yet to, whoa, I, st I still need to face Big Tipper, but that right there shows me that, yo, I've never seen a stand-up build change his animation like that in a long time. So, I was like, yo, what did I change? I changed rebound control. I put my rebound control up and lowered my vision. And I have x-ray, so it kind of cancels out. I don't really need all that vision, really, because I have x-ray on and gold. What up, Mr. Mime? Uh, the soft padding might help with one-timers, but I don't need help with one-timers, so I don't put it on. <laughs> because one-timers, the EA devs themselves said that so a lot of the one-timers, when the one-timers when they lift their stick up, those are classified as slap shots. If that's the case, like that one right there, that was a slap shot. In the game, that's classified as a slap shot. If that's the case, then the extra padding must mean it helps you with those kinds of one-timers. Good try. So maybe the ultimate one-timer build would be gold extra padding, uh, cross crease, and no timer. <laughs> that would be the ultimate build definitely not a build I would use what do you think extra padding helps you with or you said soft padding you mean extra padding right the one that helps you with slap shots what do you think that helps you with But yeah, how this game was built, and after all the updates, Butterfly isn't really for me. 
it's it's just does not it doesn't fit my play style at all I just don't like it as much as the stand-up like that Yo, you know what? That actually fits my theory. You're talking about rebounds with extra padding. While back, look at my... I, I couldn't tell you which ones, but I know for fa a fact in my live streams or maybe even a video, I said that extra padding helps with rebounds. But I could never really test it good enough to, to verify it. So you know what? That might be true. And with that, the first period comes to an end. Both teams will have a chance to get a breather, and they'll be back on the ice with period number two in not too long. can't remember am I Nice pass. Moves the puck along the half wall. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. I wish I could turn on tether controls at will. I would don't have to pause and all that. Some there are certain situations I wish I had tether controls. Like breakaways. I would turn that on in a second if I knew I was facing a breakaway. Yeah, rebound goals, that's why I play kind of deep in my crease at times. That's the only chance you have. Unless your theory is correct. But tips, I was just saying it. Uh, I don't know if you're in here. I put my rebound stat up, and I'm saving tips. Like, my goalie is literally updating his animations. Mid animation, and then a tip happens, and then he changes his animation. Happened twice. And something happens twice in a row. I'm like, okay, I'm going to keep looking into this. So we're going to keep looking, see how he does on tips. Even if he misses, as long as he changes his animation, I'm happy. Because that's the closest I can get to effective tip saving build. Yeah, 
Maybe that's why the spon you know sponge. Sponge apparently helps with picking up pucks, I guess, but the actual description of it says it helps you with the redirects. Maybe that's why the requirement for sponge is rebound control. <laughs> I'm just pe trying to piece it together in my head. We're trying to set up a tip. Do it. Oh. I didn't even notice. Why not penalty kill? Those passes from behind the net are hard to see with this camera. I only have this camera on because earlier I wasn't too comfortable with my movements. Now I am, but I might change it back to fix. And it's broken up by a nice defensive use of the stick. Oh, he'll feel that one. Takes the puck but still hangs on to the puck. Turn that one. Oh! If he one time that, I was in trouble. Waited a little bit too long. Could have passed behind the defender early, but we got the goal anyway. Got him. Nice save. I love the way that he battles and competes for this puck, James. I mean, he loses it for a second, then he finds it, and he makes the save. Late goings of this period. one nothing is where we sit at this point. Setters want a big draw on their own end. Solid check to slow him down. Moves it to Fishman. And that pass goes off a stick. Oh, he targeted his opponent and delivers a perfect hip check. Picks off the pass in the defensive zone. Playing with confidence is one thing, but then you can be overconfident as well, James. Especially when you have a lead. You want to make sure you're in good positioning to be able to backtrack. So, man, if that was short side, that had a good 55% chance of going in. I mean, it was blocker side, harder to see, more trickle in nonsense, you know, it's just, that had a good chance of going in for the short side. Uh, he had to spin around, couldn't really one time it, oh nice save. He went for the rebound, failed. He didn't shoot low enough. Like right here is as far as I want to go out. With the butterfly, you need to be out here. That's another reason I changed. I don't like playing like that. 
Because the post snipes are at a premium. But there might be certain instances you need to overcover the post with the stand up. Maybe you're facing a gold close quarters against a guy with 99 shot power. Because I think shot power is more. Shot power is more dangerous than shot accuracy. Because the accuracy part is the easy part. If you have close quarters, you're not missing. The shot power, if, you, if you're too fast for the goalie's animation, it's going in. See, they only have five shots. It feels like they have 20. Because you're always constantly, constantly moving around, fo following the puck, focusing on the everyone. So you don't really notice when they shoot. Are those pixelated? Was that fi pixelated food? Did anybody else see that in the little mini screen on the pause menu? The camera looked like up in the stands, way up in the stands. There was pixelated food or something. I've never seen that. That's cool. I don't even know why EA went to those links to make that. Nobody can see all that up there. Okay. Oh, good pass. With this camera, you can't see those. Good pass. I'm going to switch my camera now. My movement feels fine. I've been using this camera for three games straight. I played before streaming. Dude, looking for it again. Good hit. Offsides. Tyler's moving the puck through his own zone. Ooh. From the point, looks to make something happen. Oh my gosh. Referee's hand oh no. Looks like we got a tripping penalty coming up. Tyler's called for tripping. He's off to the box. I won't be surprised to see the 1 3 1 again. They had success on it earlier, James. And listen, I love this. I coach this with my team because I love the bumper spot and I love the net front player. You're taking away the eyes of the goaltender, but it can also pop out below. Goal line and present as an option. So multiple variations that can strike. Sends it quickly to Waters. There's a collision with Zelda. Oh. Wow. Goal. I don't know why my guy didn't get a split save there. I was all over that pass. Yellow, what was that, man? It's going to sound weird, but I actually think I was too perfect on that cross crease. When you're too perfect, the game doesn't recognize that you need a split save. Well, this is just an outstanding battle to find the puck 
Mika. I mean, he's between the crease, and I don't even know how he finds this puck. He tracks it perfectly and makes the save. Comes up with the stop. Vandis plays it against the boards. From against the wall into the open ice. Nice save off the tender's pad. The goal is actually balling. He has 19 saves. More than that. By now. What? Oh, come on, man. The rising phantoms have to be feeling good about the position they're in down the stretch now, Cheryl. I take a two ball lead after the third period any day of the week, James. It's just about closing it out. Guess it just didn't move far enough. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Oh yeah, we blew it. We blew it. We're taking penalties. We're giving up goals. We blew it. What up, dragon? Team is playing scared right now. Uh. Oh man, he's so dialed in, makes consecutive saves there and keeps his team in it. And they continue to apply pressure here. Stoppage of play as we get an offside. All right, I really can't give up any more goals, and I just need to hope my team scores a bunch. Well, not, not only my, oh, can't even take my hand off the controller. All right, but my, my team is doing okay, but we're starting to play scared because their goalie's doing well. There we go. Needed a breakaway to do it. But their goalie's playing well, so we're trying different things when we don't need to. Just because their goalie saved a couple good opportunities doesn't mean we should stop trying them as a goalie i know if i save three cross creases i know okay the fourth one is it gets harder and harder because you're starting to hesitate a little bit more and more and more just because i save two cross creases doesn't mean i'll save every one i don't know how high it is i just know i put it as high as i could without sacrificing my recovery or angles. But that's not the problem. I just... I was simply too late to the slot shot and the cross crease. I was too, I was too fast. It's actually better to be late on those. I think I should make my guy. I'm gonna pull myself in. I'm gonna make my guy shorter. Cause that means that if I'm gonna be fast on the cross creases, 
I want my guy to have to reach out, you know? I want split saves. So I want to force my goalie to get a split save. I'm going to make my guy 6-3. We'll just see how 6-3 does. Get it over to me. Oh, man. Yeah, we lost that one. But their goalie deserved the win. He played really well. So while it's fresh on my mind, I'm going to change my build, make the necessary changes. Actually, I'm going to make um I'll just make him 6-4 actually. I'm not going to make him 6-3. Then if I get the same results, then I'll change him to 6 6 3. Oh wait, my rebound control isn't up. Then how did I save those tips? Is this the same build I was just using? This whole time, I thought I was using this build. Okay, then I guess I was wrong about the rebound control. Because I, I wasn't using that build. So scrap everything I said earlier, because we don't know. Now I don't know what I did. What, how did I save those tips? Because I've never seen my goalie update his animation twice. After a tip. Wow. Okay, well let me... Let me just start using the build. I'll keep that build. Let me start using the build I, I wanted to use all along. Dang it, now I can't change the height because what if this build is just fine the way it is? I don't want to change something I don't even know about yet. Yeah, this is what... See, I put it as high as I could. I can't... I can't get it to 87. I want to get it to 87, but I can't. Um, it's impossible without sacrificing angles or recovery which I don't want to do either so we're just going to settle for 86 this whole time I thought I was using this build And I'm going to make another one that I'm going to test on my own time. I won't test this stream. Uh, I'll just copy this one for now just because I know it works. Alright, so I just simply want... I'll actually take off post to post. need 86... I don't use the computer, the one-on-one -on -one versus the computer as, I don't like to say, oh, he saved against the computer a couple times, his build is good. No, that's not how it works. I just do this just to see, just five hole, really. If he's decent at five hole, that's how I know it's possible. Because if you can save the computer five hole consistently, you have a decent decent build. Doesn't mean you have a really good build, Just a just one that's possible to play with. So far, you're seeing good five holes, so this build should be possible. All right. Because some builds, like bad builds, he doesn't even go down. You just get sniped five hole a lot. I guess one of our guys... Oh, wait, he didn't? 
my team waiting on me? No, they're not. Yeah, I guess one of our guys quit, so we're finding another guy. Well, actually, then I'm not going to use this build, because this... I'll use this build for one game. But since I saw that this build can save tips, then what's the point? Who just invited me? Is this fours or sixes? Yeah, 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 sure. Alright. I guess I just joined a new squad. Someone invited me, and it looks like, because it looks like these guys are done, I guess. They're not really finding anybody, so. Just went to a new squad. Now I'm kind of stuck. What do I do now? Do I do I use this build to see? No, I don't. I I I don't think I need to use this build. Nothing There's nothing wrong with this build. Nothing. I just need to figure out why I didn't get a split save on that cross crease cuz usually I get split saves galore. Hmm. <sighs> yeah, we'll make him 6-4. No, I'll make him 6-3, but what I'm going to do is lower the angles then. There. We're about to kill two birds with one stone. My recovery is maxed out. The the uh, plus three recovery brings it up to here. That's maxed out in my eyes. I don't like to actually max it out. I just this is maxed out to me. When I go higher, I don't think it does anything. I have a plus three boost, which puts me up here. All right. Let's just see if this is possible then. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Did you see how quickly he went down in five hold that many times in a row? I like that. Usually off of a rebound, he doesn't go down, but he did. Twice. Gets up, goes down. He saves five hole willingly. What the heck, computer? What was that, mate? But since he has low stam, I don't know why. But only against the computer when I have low stam, he starts sitting down after saves. Never happens in game. Unless it's a point shot for some reason. Ooh, okay. A standing still split save. Alright, I've seen enough. That was a trickle in nonsense. I don't count that. I only count five hole goals against the computer if he actually shoots. If he just runs into me, I don't I don't care about those. That I don't worry about those. Cause in game I'll actually be going down. I wasn't going down manually at all.
Oh, wait, Mr. Mai. Okay, I actually misunderstood your comment. I thought you were telling me to max out my... You're asking a question. Would maxed out recovery help with tips? My apologies. <laughs> I completely misunderstood. Um, recovery doesn't... I don't think it helps with, helps with tips. It might, but I don't think it does. I never thought it does. What it helps me with is basically what you think agility would help you with. But it's basically agility's cousin. Or what you think agility does. All the good things that happen with agility, not all the bad. Because I don't like agility too much. I don't like it higher than 80, 86, because that's where it gets me post to post. I think making my guy 6'3 actually upped the agility. I'm, I'm going to lower that then. Yeah, it did. I, I'm going to put it back down to 86, and I would rather up my other stuff. What just happened? So we're going to use this build. It's basically just this build. But on 6-3, I don't need angles. I don't need angles. Although... I don't know, I guess, because after the update, they changed a whole bunch of stuff. If I start getting sniped on the post clean, I'm putting angles back up, because I've always thought angles helped with that. Angles helped so with more accurate blocker saves, and not just on the post. If, I, if it hits my blocker and bounces down and goes in the net, I'm putting my angles back up. I don't care, because ever since I've had angles up and been playing how I usually play, I don't, those things don't go in. All right, here we go. Okay, close quarters. There's only one one T. Um Angles on six three. I I just don't think I need it on six three. For some reason I just don't think it does 
I've played with no angles on 6-3. I don't get the trickling goals. The trickling goals don't happen. So, I guess to answer your question, it just does nothing. But we'll see. Because after... The, I haven't used no angles on 6-3 since... Uh, like a month ago. This was before three of the updates. So we'll see if anything changed. I hope nothing changed. Or else we're going to have a bad time. Because they have close quarters. Any shooting perk against 6-5, no angles. If they shoot your blocker and you're not... And you are square. If you're square and they shoot your blocker and they have a shooting perk... You have a, there's a decent chance that's going to hit the bottom of your blocker, some garbage, and it's going to bounce through and just trickle in somehow. It's always on the same animation, too. So far, so good. I just want to make sure that I can save cross creases too, because cross creases are important to me to save. Defensemen always say, I got the pass, don't worry about it. No, you don't have the pass, so I'm going to worry about it. Dang! That was barely four punches and he went down. People say that's a bad shot, but I, yesterday I... Ooh. Yesterday I faced a shot. It was on the goal line in the corner. It was a trickle. He didn't even, I don't even think he shot. It just started trickling towards the net from there. It was trickling from the corner on the goal line. And it, I was on... I was in Butterfly. But it went under my pad. My goalie was levitating. He was floating. Just a touch. And it went under my pad. Comes up huge. 
There we go. What did I say, guys? What did I say? What did I say? I changed height just for that. Because if I was 6'5", he wouldn't have been far enough away from that to get a split save. He, the game thinks he's close enough. He doesn't need a split save. So he wouldn't have saved it. Good poke. Good period. Both teams got their licks on action. Rebound control is working. These rebounds are going to the corner. See, look. He shot that absolutely all the way left. But these rebounds are actually going to the corner. Does rebound control work on a stand-up now? I wasn't putting rebounds up to get better rebounds. I was doing it for something else, but... It looks like it's actually working. You're clearly seeing better rebounds. If they're not going to the corner, they're going in the air. Still zeros on the board as we are now underway in the second. But we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment. Montreal's driving play right now, James, and they're dictating it. The only thing they're not, not that one. <laughs> not that one, though. Uh, but you can only control so much. If it hits your pad, you don't have control over the rebound anyway. Oh, good try. Good defense there. Good save. Oh, good saves. Good save. Oh, man. Good saves by the goalie. But when too many shots happen like that, what I was talking about against the computer, it was impressive I saved so many shots in a row. Because usually that happens against their goalie. That happens. That many shots in a row, your goalie can't keep up. The animations aren't fast enough. Oh, see, those are the shots I don't... Those are the shots I try to prevent with all of my builds. Those are the shots I try to prevent with all of my builds. That's why I build them the way I build them. That shot right there. So we saw that go in. We now need to think his glove side is weak. Some builds, for some reason, oh. That was a good play because that pass down forced my goalie in butterfly. I couldn't move. Uh, but anyways, we need to think to ourselves, that goes in, let's keep shooting there. <laughs> That's what I would do as a skater. If I saw... Same on the blocker side. Blocker side usually happens on the blocker side. 
I'm thinking I'm shooting blocker every time. But no, now we're going to try different things. That's okay. Skater is so much harder. It's harder to see things. It's harder to see things and notice things. What up, Chell Pro? Like, as a goalie, it's easy for us to call skaters out. But they're in the middle of it. We're just spectating, really. These guys have the worst tips I've ever seen. Every tip has been one mile an hour. There we go. That's one glove shot. But it needs to be an X-Factor shot. It needs to be a shooting perk. You think so, gold tips are? That would be kind of cool, but I don't know if EA will do that because that's the first. Last season was just the exception of them holding, adding gold perks for goalies. They've never done that for any of the other seasons. They only ever do that to skaters. The perks they give us are always trash in silver, but they actually gave us some decent gold perks. Like the stamina ones, I don't care about my stamina. I can minus five that without a care. I guess I'm tripping. I thought that pass put me down. I was just late. I'm tripping. Pa I respect that pass between the defender's legs. I backed up and he scored. Okay. So I guess I read that completely wrong. Alright, we can't play carelessly, guys. Oh, we're only up by one here. Good shot. Nice save. Yeah, and they're not going to do that. A counter ability for every... That would make sense, but they're not going to do that. They have a couple, but there's no counter for close quarters, make it snappy. There's no official counter. You can kind of fake counters. Like, you could put on fly swatter, and maybe it'll help you with close quarters shots. But that's, it's broad. Fly swatter helps with pretty much everything. There is no official counter versus specific things. And half the counters don't even work. Well, 
Like tips are silver. I don't think it works. If it, if they tip it and your goalie's in an animation, usually he doesn't change his animation. I have yet to see with Tipchar him change his animation. Now recently I have seen him change his animation without Tipchar. Good save. I don't think he had time to get his head out of the way, and that one hits his mask. You gotta give it to the quality of mask nowadays. If that happened a few years ago, ooh, that would hurt even more. Takes the puck. Big chest save as he gobbled that one up with the trapper. Moves it quickly over to Jordan. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Seattle's got it in their own zone. Good pass. Nice save. Nice Me too, Chell Pro. Preach. Preach. The RP for goalies should not be based on win or lose. Because you could play your very best and lose. Or you can play terribly and win. Like it does it's not consistent for goalies. Like it is for skaters. Yes. Based on performance, it still wouldn't be perfect, but I think it should be based on save percentage versus how, like, if they, maybe not save percentage, maybe based on just how many saves versus goals. Save percentage could be a factor, but not all of it. Because what if you win? <laughs> You only made three. You only faced three shots, let in a goal, and your save percentage isn't that good. But you win and you still lose RP. Like that wouldn't make sense either. But they need to do something. I'm sure they can figure it out. All their great minds over there. They can figure something out. To me, I think the only consistent way they could do it is just based on save percentage, I guess. If you have a save percentage above, I don't know, 75, you get RP. Below 75, you lose RP. I don't know. Maybe not exactly that, but something like that. Just something. He got fortunate there because he shouldn't have thrown it out. Yeah, it wouldn't be hard. Like we're just some, we're just random players coming up with ideas. They have a whole team of developers over there. They can figure something out. Cartier's won it off the faceoff. 
from the open ice and oh. the line. Play whistle dead offside the call. Although what EA would be worried about then is just some people playing goalie on elite teams. Well, never mind. Because it happens anyway. Never mind. Scratch what I was about to say. Because people get carried on elite teams and get their rank up anyway. So I guess this wouldn't change anything on that front. But I do agree. Wins and losses isn't an effective way to measure a goalie skill. Oh gosh. Ah. Ah. I smelled the goal. I I I felt that coming. I easily felt that coming. It was a 3 on 1 and they planned that play perfectly. The pass is from behind the net. I feel like it gives them a boost. Some good stick work to force that turnover. Montreal's looking to break out. And there's the buzzer. 60 minutes have been played, and we are still tied. Let's go to overtime, and we'll do that next here on EA Sports. EA has never understood blocker animations in this game. I think I, now, I, now I know I need to put my angles up because that was the first time I faced that shot versus a close quarters or whatever he had on. Could have been make it snappy, I don't know. But see this animation here? That animation there? That is the worst animation in the history of EA sports hockey games. I don't know what kind of goalie they thought was a good... This goes against every goalie technique ever. Open arms, open five hole, everything is terrible in that animation. So when you miss, like he just did, it goes in the net. So my goal is to prevent those from going in, to make that blocker more accurate. So I need to put my angles back up. One of our guys lagged out or something, they're not skating. Good save. And he keeps it alive. What a stop. And he loses control of the puck. Montreal's got a hold of it against the wall. Toss it up at center. Now over to Harabi. He says, let's get physical on that play. Montreal's got it in their own zone. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. Close it right onto the tape. Scooped up along the wall by Caulfield. Taken by Gilmore. Here's the pass. And there's the whistle as the puck is covered up for a stoppage. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. Nice save. We blew it there. We could have easily scored if we shot to the right. Go, 
Ooh, got him. We got the win. Uh, did I get RP for that game or no? Why did it put me to this screen? Was that a... I'm so confused. Was that a scheduled game? Was that a um, a private game? A private match? Was that a private match this whole time and I wasn't paying attention? No, it couldn't. Was it? <laughs> Were we just playing a private match? Whatever. We got the win. Let's see. Because I know where my RP was at. Let me go. Uh, is my team done? Alright, let's see. No, that I definitely did not get RP for that game. Definitely not. Oh wait, no, I could, I can, I can make this work. All right, that right there. All right, let's see if we can make this work. We got the angles back up. I, I, what up, I, Snowy, what up, Snowy? It looks like we literally just filled a spot. Because my team just invited me and a guy just joined the party. My apologies. Oh, I just in, joined the invite in the, do I have to restart making that build again? Is it going to reset the build? Please don't. If it resets it back to a hybrid, I'm going to rage. Uh-oh. Just please let me. Uh, what just happened? Goalie. Alright. Did it reset the whole build? No, it didn't. Okay, good. I can just. Oh, it didn't reset it at all. It, it actually saved. Okay, cool. Alright, let's see how this build works. Has higher angles back. Rebound control is still the same. My vision is a lot worse, but I have gold x-ray, so, so hopefully it doesn't matter. Alright, let's go. Yo, you've never- I don't think I've ever actually raged on camera. Like, actually gotten mad over this game? I've said, um, you know, I've gotten, anno I've been annoyed. Who doesn't get annoyed? But you've never heard me yell and throw a controller. Alright, gold close quarters, big tipper. And a silver 1T. Like, those three things right there, that's what scores. Those three things, those are, that's what goes in. So this will be very interesting. You're too easy going to rage. What? what? Is, is this code? What? I hope this team is decent. I don't like playing against bad teams when I'm trying to test things. It, to me, it's a wasted game. Known me for a long time. Well. After being 
I've definitely, uh, I wouldn't say I've raged at this game. I've never gotten super upset at this game, or in the past I have, but not this NHL 24. I've kind of grown past that to the point where I don't care anymore. <laughs> but yeah, I've never really gotten extremely mad at this game. It'll be very hard for you to make me break character. All right, let's go. So the only thing I changed, I made the angles higher, lowered the vision. So, but if this is a complete, if this is a mess, I'm going to make my vision higher again and just lower the rebound control and deal with it. But I really like how the rebounds are with this build. He seems to get out of rebound animations quicker. Because every time there was a bad rebound, I got to it like that. No, sir. So far, so good. Oh, I've experienced your raging already. I see your... <laughs> but come on, it's you... Like, I think video games, if you're going to rage at all, video games is the place to do it because... It's a good place to, you know, just vent. Can't do it anywhere else without... Oh! So far, so good. I'm going to, when it's out of the zone, I'm going to make sure my audio is synced. All right, so you're going to hear an echo in the stream. All right. Left, right. Perfect. All right. It's all synced up. Shoot blocker side, dude. You know you want to. Oh! I didn't know we turned it over. Oh! Oh, what? He, yeah, there's no way that's a goal. He punched it in. <laughs> yeah, no way. No way. He totally bumped it. Bumped me. No way, no way, no way. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> you can't be serious. Whatever, I don't even count that as a trickle-in goal. He literally punched it in. He punched, he basically hit it in through me. He hit me to hit it in. No, they're not, Mr. Mai, they're not. And they never are. Well, they are sometimes. I can't. But the problem is they were, they were calling it off for the glove and then punching it in with the glove not goal interference like I want them to like obviously that wasn't a glove punch in but he hit me I don't count that as a real goal I'm not going to count that against this build at all like you never see that you'll never see that type of goal again in 30 games Mr. Snipes, we'll see. I don't know. I'm not in control here. That you, you think because I'm live streaming and all that, but I'm not the party leader. I just joined these guys because they invited me. We'll see. No, I haven't. I completely forgot about it, and I probably won't, <laughs> truthfully. I don't watch movies like that. I'll be honest. I watch more just TV and YouTube. I'm sure it's great. I'm sure it's great. I'm going to get this puck. Oh! Oh my gosh! Oh, I'm so sorry. My, go my goalie just didn't go for the puck. I must have just missed. I wasn't paying attention. Oh my gosh! He usually reaches for it. 
Oh, I feel like a pe yeah, I'm new gen, Mr. Snipes. I'm new gen. Oh, I feel like a piece of crap. Yo, I've see I I wasn't really paying attention because nine times out of ten, that's the one percent of him not reaching for the puck. I've never seen him not reach for the puck. He didn't even try. Of course my team's gonna blame me, which rightfully so, but come on, you can't be serious. Like watch. He does that. Seattle's got a hold of the puck. Great stick work with the steal. Calgary's been excellent tonight, James. They found ways to work hard on and off of the puck, and when they're away from it, now I gotta make sure these guys don't score. <clears throat> Oh, he couldn't see it, the vision. <laughs> He's like Stevie Wonder. So, so far, these guys haven't scored any real goals. All of it has been nonsense, really. This is going to be a fun game. This is the third fight in two games. You know, James, that you're going to have to answer for it. And that'll do it after that one. Wow, these fights don't last long. He landed a perfect one right there and took him down. When the fight started, the fans erupted, and then all of a sudden the tilt went the road team's way, and it got awfully silent. Yo, miss. They've got the debris all cleared up. Listen. I'm just saying how I've been saying it. I think I do know how to pronounce it, but I'm not changing. <laughs> it's because when I first saw your name, to me, I didn't even see a name in it. I thought you just smashed your keyboard. I just saw MR, like murmurs. I wasn't thinking. It always fascinates me how, uh, yeah, Mr. you're Mr. Mai. I don't care. You're Mr. Mai. I don't, I don't, it's not switching. <laughs> Look at that highlight real goal, man. What a goal. All right, let's look at what happened. I mean, I'm looking terrible. I have what, 60% save percentage? 75% save percentage, I should say. All right, so. So. Way, from way down the ice, goalie doesn't know what he's doing. He skates the other direction. Maybe it's because I turned, so it messed with the goalie. I don't know what happened. I've just never... Get out of here, Mr. Miyagi. You're not. You're Mr. Mai. And I'm going to call the movie Karate Kid Producers, and I'm going to say we're legally changing it to Mr. Mai. I don't care. Look at Jimmy Cap. Yeah, that's fake news. That's fake news, Chelpro. That was weird. Usually my leg doesn't get stuck like that on 6-3. Mr. Listen, I don't have enough breath. You, you want me to waste my breath on saying that long name? Every time I say, every time I reference you? No, Mr. Mai is short enough. These guys go for cheese. All their shots have just been post shots from cheesy angles.
Here's a short pass to Joseph. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Takes the pass and works the cycle down low. Calvary's got the puck against the boards. Oh. Yo, the cheese is real. Did you see that? EA is all over me right now. Yeah, because that's that's what's important to me. That's what's important to me. The slow gliding pucks. When my guy acts like Stevie Wonder and can't pick up a loose puck, that's when that's when I start rambling. <laughs> to me i still have a shutout i mean i technically don't anymore so I, that i can say it the superstition doesn't account for it anymore to me i still have a shutout neither of their goals count as goals to me Yo, talk about Hard Time. Hard Time is the best prison simulator video game in the world. I think I still have it on my phone. Oh! Yes! Did you see that animation right there? Did you see that animation right there? That's what should oh that's what should happen. Around the clock. He was in butterfly and he simply lifted his blocker to the top right instead of opening his arms wide open for it to trickle in. Tip it. Oh! <clears throat> See, that was the first one that was the first shot that bounced out of my glove and that was the first shot I didn't use five hole anticipation maybe it's a coincidence and maybe I'm just a crazy guy but it's just kind of weird to me real goal I was too deep in my stinking crease and I kind of felt it too I felt it but I didn't move because I didn't want to get caught moving but it didn't matter I didn't want to get caught moving and then have them shoot I should have been right at the top I was way too deep on that that was on me that was not the build at all I should have been up here right here I should have been standing oh <laughs> that was kind of cool. Look how deep in my crease I am. Look at that. I'm basically on the goal line, and that's when you get sniped. So, that was on me. That was just 100% on me. It was a two-on-one. I... I didn't want to move and then have them shoot while I was moving. Yeah, see, I'm on the goal line. I'm on. I should have been a whole push and a half further out. 
I just didn't want to move and then have him pass over here. That would have been, man. Then just top shelf ripped it. Rightfully so. Good for him. Yep, the fake shutout is over. They have one goal in my in my heart. If we lose by two, then it won't matter. Both of those. Holy crap, I've been streaming for an hour 26 minutes. What? This is only my second game. And see, I saved that one just fine. Now they're going to shoot blocker like... Oh. They're going to shoot blocker like nobody's business. Nice save. Oh, what a save. That was his first save in two periods. I don't know if that's true. He barely has any shots against, though. so hard as a skater to look at the goalie when you shoot so if I was a skater if I was a good skater and I looked at the goalie while I was shooting right there I'm saying he's on the goal line I'm shooting short side it's going in I think this is the fourth fight in two games This is a riveting fight. Hopefully nobody's hurt. Bro, you just watched a fist fight. Of course somebody's hurt. Probably their fists hurt more than their faces. They still have their helmets on. And after that tilt, looks like cooler heads have finally prevailed. And we're ready to drop the puck once again. Good job tangling up his opponent here. Slides it diagonally to Fabricius. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. Seattle's going to play it from the corner. Calgary's got the puck along the boards. And he keeps possession. Slides the puck across to Dvorak. Rocks him. Gets a hold of the puck here at his own end. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Good try. Joseph's 
won the draw here in the defensive zone. With the stop. Calgary's got it in the red zone. Reese picks up the puck. If I miss again, I'm going to croak. All right. Well, I missed the pass, so I guess I'm croaking. And they send it right back to him. Quick feed to Flurry. Seattle's looking to break out of the Alright, these guys pause and wait long, waiting for me to get out of the way or for me not to get in position quick enough, you know? Moves it to Fabricius. We got a whistle penalty coming up. Daniels going off for charging. Yo, yellow, Yellow's feeling it, but he's never feeling the right things. See that guy. My apologies for yelling. <laughs> right, this game is in the toilet, but at least they only scored three, and two of the goals were trash. So in my mind, they only scored one. That sounds good to me. Five fights in two games. Yo, these guys need to learn how to fight. They're just throwing, they're just spamming buttons. There is a, there is an art to fighting. You need to time. See, this guy knows what he's doing. He has him in a headlock. Anyone that can do this knows how to fight. Is there another fight over here? No. Tough to watch fighting, but sometimes when it's a tilt on the road and you're a winner, it creates a ton of momentum. Looks like the emotions have settled down. They've got calm back on the ice, and let's get this puck drop once again. And with the two tied up off the face off, a great read to grab possession of the puck. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. We lose, but it's okay. In my mind, we won. We won. As a goalie, we won. You know, we did our job. We only let in one goal. The other two was nonsense. We're nonsense goals, so this isn't... I'm not worried about it. And they also had fresh legs. I mean, it's easier to have the puck and be in control of the game. And when your opponent's chasing it and you're pushing them to vulnerable spots, that's the way you want to play. It was a tight game, but they came out with it. All right, I'm going to end the stream here, boys, I pre because I think my team's done. Looks like they're quitting. Yeah, they're all done. So I'll see you guys next time. I work tomorrow, so I might not stream tomorrow, but I'm definitely streaming. I'm, I'm probably streaming Tuesday, and I'm definitely streaming Wednesday. All right, so I'll see you guys then, all right? See ya.